My name is Christopher Kuzier. I'm an artist. Well, I'm going to talk about Suchitra's work um, called An Ocean Cradle. Chitra's work, even though she's functioning in the diaspora, it's work that kind of widens our understanding of the Caribbean, because the Southern Caribbean has a very strong Asian diaspora as a result of indentureship. And I think our work also talks about the presence of Indian women through saris, right? The materiality of our work, she uses saris and these bells, and the work has a kind of fluid quality. The one in this show is a wall hanging. It almost looks like a tapestry. Her work in general, sometimes these things just meander around the space. They like drape on the space. And of course, each sari sometimes that is tangled in, you see plaiting, you see weaving. So in these assemblages of sort is a narrative, both of her labor in the making of this work and the labor of the woman through domesticity, through all kinds of other forms of social labor, their, their presence is indexed or carried in the configuration of saris. You get this kind of rhythm of patterns, of ebb and flow of sea, you know, coming and going, you know, like the tide and the movement of people. Some of these saris are ones that she acquires through secondhand shops and things, and some comes from family and people she knows. So it really talks about the presence of Asian culture in the Caribbean narrative, but also about women in general, and of course, well, Asian women, because that's her point of view, her way of looking out on the world. When I was asked to talk about her work, I, I got scared. It's one of those kinds of works that it takes you some time. You're trying to figure out what can I, how can I match this encounter? Like what words can I, what vocabularies or what things I can arrive that can match the intensity of what I'm feeling with you. The burden of responsibility in the Caribbean to make the Caribbean space something meaningful for the people who find themselves there, who were simply brought there to labor, to create wealth elsewhere, is a very interesting question. Artists like Suchitra and others, you know, whether they live in the Caribbean, whether they live in the broader Caribbean diaspora, are sort of conjuring through their imaginations, through their creative practices, new prospects for how we can understand our way in the world. <laughs> 